What's going on? Go video, just in time flipping. Here we are. We are back with a haul video. Uh, I hauled a bunch of shit back to my house, and now I shall do a video for you, bringing you the goods, and possibly only the goods. Who knows? Um, so here we go. Let me flip a ruski the camera ruski. All right, here we are. Huge uh, Playboy paper haul. Yeah, you can look at some of that. It's not, you know, none of it's really too degrading of anybody. Uh, people got paid to be on those covers. Um, so, I think it was 14, 14 boxes total, which would be like a copy, paper copy box. 14 boxes total. Kind of sorting through the years right now. Da, da, da. Uh, I think it ranges from 64 to 2010. I think that's what it goes from and to. I'm kind of organizing it into years. Okay, so here's the story. Here's the story. All right, so craziness. Um, went yard sailing in the morning. I had the house targeted through the night. It was about 12 at night. I'm like, oh, I need a target for the morning. This was my target for the morning. It was one house. I, uh, I mean, I was going to hit here first and then carry on my wayward son. And yeah, so here's the story. I was driving down the highway towards the direction. I kind of knew where I was going. I took a screenshot of the address and kind of the general location. Um, as I was driving down the road, I'm going to GPS as I'm halfway there. Because I kind of knew the way there. I go to GPS, and I didn't pay my phone bill last night. Yep, didn't pay it. Uh, I just pay it when it's due. It's, it was due that day. So I'm calling the place, and uh, it's Saturday morning, and they don't open up till 9 o'clock. Um, and yeah, so I had no internet, no directions, no directions to this yard sale. So I'm driving, and I'm looking for like a, a Wi-Fi or something, so I get in the general region, pull over, ask a guy what the directions are to this address, pull up the address on his phone, take some snapshots to get me through, <laughs> pretty, pretty sad, this is old school stuff here, old school pick for old school ways, um, so I snapshot my way to get there, as I was get going there to the directions, I had a detour that was blocking the exit that I had to take. So I was taking this exit and I go straight up this road about a couple miles and then the house is right there on the left. Well, I couldn't go that way. So it was just total confusion. No, no sense of direction. My GPS locator was just totally off. And, um, I found a Duncan. I logged onto the Wi-Fi, paid my bill, got the directions, and made my way towards the house, which was a three-minute walking distance after I did all that. Um, and it was about 8.05 by that time, and I had, you know, time's imperative, you know, time's very imperative in the morning for a yard sale. You want to, you know, wake up an hour early, you know, get your coffee, you know, there might be some traffic on the road. You don't you don't know. It's unpredictable. So you, you got to wake up a tiny bit earlier. Um, Steve. <clears throat> so. And this is the hall. Uh, massive, massive, massive paper hall. And what I mainly wanted to really show you is the VHS. All right. There's a hall of VHS here. It's uh, 12 boxes. Of VHS, all random, mixed, uh, mixed, and I can bring you through some of this uh, electronical crap. Oh, right there, electronical crap with uh, some rims. Getting a little hungry. It's about four thirty in the morning here, making this video. So we're still sorting. Got some tools out. Ba ba ba. We got some other electronics over here that we got. Not the fan. And, uh, yeah, let's go through it here. So, I made my way to the house. Uh, there's a couple cars pulling up at the same time. I'm already nervous that this shit's already gone. Um, 
so we advertised 400 Playboys and 100 VHS tapes. Yeah, v I'm going to be honest with you, VHS tapes are pretty hot right now. Uh, we took some VHS to the to the old Brimfield flea market antique show, and we did pretty good. I ain't going to lie. I was doing $5 a tape. The shit was flying out the door. I'm like, what's going on here? Totally confused. So we bought more material. Uh, um... As far as the magazines, uh, we're going to, you know, do the lots. I got them going by the years, ba ba ba, And then we'll probably pull some key issues out of here. Uh, I'm probably going to curate it all and put it all in plastic. Um, to just try to command the best price that we can. It's going to be a long, hot grind with this stuff, all right? Um... It's easy listing, but yet still a grind. Very heavy. Uh, takes up a little bit of space. I don't have uh, proper filing cabinets for any of this stuff, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky. Stuff might just go back into boxes with labels on years. What's in there? Ba ba ba. You know the deal. So. Um, I took out $1,000 in the morning. Didn't think I was going to need it at all. Apparently, I needed friggin' every dollar that I had on me. So, we paid two fifty for all the Playboys, which was, I feel, a smoking deal. It's less, it's about 50 cents each. This is probably 400, 500 magazines. 50 cents a magazine, smoking deal. I paid two fifty for all the VHS uh, you know, he wanted 300 for all this, and he wanted 300 for all that, I offered him 250 there, and 250 there, boom, he was done, 500, so kind of how that happened too, I walked up to the house, he didn't have the magazines out, I was like, hey, I, I walked up to the house, and uh, I tell a weird story, circles, I walked up to the house, I grabbed one movie, and one movie said $50 on it, and I said, uh, how much are these movies? And he's like, oh, they're all priced. I'm like, oh, lordy. Okay, so let's move on from there. Where's, where's the magazines? He's like, oh, they're in the basement. So we walked right down there, ended the whole yard sale. Nobody could buy nothing because I took the seller away from the uh, whole equation. We went in the basement, looked at all the mags, kind of, figured out a price, Two. He said three. I said two fifty. Done. Went back outside. I said all the VHS. How much? He said three hundred. I said two fifty. He said sure. Boom, boom, done. Now I was back in the basement and I picked up these couple units here. This is a, a VCR, some high end VCR. Might do a hundred bucks. This uh, Emerson tape. Uh, receiver, tape, receiver, record player, all that stuff. Kind of cool. Probably a hundred bucks. Kind of bulky to ship, but we will get it done. And then I got this nice Westinghouse. It's a pretty nice Westinghouse. It's got a small crack right there. Nothing too major. Uh, still a good radio, you know? Still a good radio. Uh, I got this thing, which is a uh, Nakamichi Auto Analyzer T100. Uh, no clue, but anything that filters, anything that has anything to do with audio is expensive. And one sold for $1,200. I have no clue on this thing. We'll, we'll, we'll see. That's why it's on the counter there like that. Um, carrying on. Oh my god, uh, no room. We got these two oscillator machines. Focus. Two decent oscillators. They are made by. Tektronics? Tektronics. Two oscillators. Tektronics. Come on, cup of coffee. So, two, two fifty. Pots broken for these two machines each. Uh, he said they turned on. 
I'm going to hold confidence they turned on. They both have the manuals inside the little pouches here. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it on and fire it on and see if it does squiggly lines. It does squiggly lines. We're, we're, we're firing it out. Little Heath kit. A couple of the electronic processing. 8-track. Uh, 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 some kind of power supply. There's a digital processor down here. You hear this black thing. That's a digital processor too. Another receiver, JVC. Uh, Alesis. A uh, four-track mixer. That does 100. Uh, a bass chorus. A boss bass chorus. That's about a $50 boner right there. We will not use that on the rig. Here's my rig, basically using this Line 6 right now. Uh, it's got all the, you know, jazzed up filters, chorus, and phaser, flanger, all kinds of weird stuff. Here's the Marshall stack. I gotta run that. I'm gonna try and run that off of this transducer, acoustic transducer, uh, 412 inch huge monstrous cab and there's my base that I'm running Jackson uh, orange Jackson nothing too crazy just a little uh beat around town base so yeah we're not going to use any of this stuff but we could just showing you the rig you're welcome all right here we go we got these uh cutlass I believe these are a uh, 86 cutlass or earlier uh, spoke wire wheels very good condition very minty condition uh, I mean zero pitting on these things these are these are baller I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna say 500 on these just from the condition seen them sell for 400 for one I could pot them out in singles I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet Maybe a thousand for all. I don't know. I don't know. Four hundred one at a time. Take two years. Who knows? Who knows? Got to wait for guys to you know lose the hubcaps. It's the only way you can win with any of that. Um, carrying on from there. The VHS. Let me uh, try and scurvy scurvy my way over there. All right. Here we are. In the VHS area. Um, so basically I've been separating the, uh, tapes. We got two boxes here. It's, uh, you know, mixed material. I've been just putting kind of mixed material. Yeah, we got the ET, you know, uh, we got dangerous grounds, the abyss, uh, Rambo, Rambo three, the crow. There's some pretty good stuff in here. Uh, it's not... It's not spectacular, but... It's not bad. So that's kind of what's kind of in there. You know, Ace Ventura. Uh, uh, yeah, there's some other stuff in there, all right? Um, let's go to this box here. And then we get some Mob Boss... Life Force, it's a big red one, the big red one, goodbye lover, yeah, what a buck for it, X-Files, you know, nothing crazy, some other titles, you know, nothing crazy, uh, some other titles, nothing crazy. We got a time cop. Yeah, come on, time cop. We got Van Dam. Come on now. So, those are those boxes. These are these boxes. Oh, yeah, you get some La Femme Nikita, the Players Club, Mimic. Uh, we get some Puppet Master. Uh, 
Puppet Master. That looks kind of scary. I'm not, I'm not big on scary movies. Uh, Jungle Warriors. It's got a little damage, but still probably a good tape. Yep. Sorry, I did zoom on that. Uh, you know, it's just all kinds of stuff. The Reanimator. That looks scary. He's got the dealer tags on him, so 25 on that he had. The Company of Wolves. Dolly Dearest. Out of the surf. Bikini driving. Come on now. Connoisseur three. Connoisseurs. Species two. Uh, and the stuff goes, you know, deep. Trances five, four, probably three and two in there. Yeah, three and two. Uh, you got some Play Nice, a Blair Witch Project, Rawhead Rex, uh, Vampirella. The Vampire Slayer, Bigots, Perverts, and Other Americans, uh, Dead Time Stories, Psychos in Love, The Emerald Forest, some uh, cartoon. This is kind of interesting. Christmas Evil. Christmas Evil. This guy. Yeah, Santa coming down. Santa coming down your uh, uh, clockwise. Those are uh, Monty Pythons. Uh, and it's just, it's just, dang, it's just mixed, man. It's all mixed. Horror mixed, science fiction, galaxy invaders. Suprilla. What do we got on that? Dirty. Dirty on the Suprilla. Demon Knight. Mm -hmm. We got some Sisters Act. That's always a good one. Ginger Snaps 2. Curse 5. Kind of Soul. Titanic 2000, Lily was here, uh, some spawns, the naked cage, there's just all kinds of stuff. Uh, I spit on your grave. $50 piece there. I spit on your grave. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, some river dance. The being. The being. You know that's scary. Silent Night, Deadly Night, 60, firm, Santa was here. That's a $60 piece there. Who knows? But, Encounters with the Unknown.
good God, this stuff would give you nightmares for nightmares for a good solid couple years. Uh, 984, Prisoner of the Future. Nine eight, nine eight four is a man without a name, without hope, without a future, and only robots to hear his screams. Ah. Ah. Fifteen. So as you can see, best of Blondie, kinds of stuff. Hand that rocked the cradle, stepfather two, some Pulp Fiction. I gotta go through this box. I haven't gone through this box yet. But some pretty good stuff. You got some Tales, Tales of Tomorrow, Tales from the Crypt stuff. So, pretty cool VHS. Not big on horror at all. I actually. The horror just scares the crap out of me. Uh, <laughs> thanks, bro. <laughs> My brother used to take me to um, R-rated movies when I was a kid, probably like 10 to 15. I, th I think I've seen Hellraiser in the movie theater before. That I think Hellraiser just kind of uh, took it to a different level for me. And then probably couldn't really watch any more uh, <laughs> scary movies after that. Um, and then it that it just haunted me for years when I was a kid. When I watched it, uh, I think we watched it as a series every like Wednesday night for like a couple weeks or something. When it was, I oh, mean, I think it was ten or eleven. And uh, yeah, that just scared the shit out of me for years. Uh, there, there were some other movies that were just could take it out a little too far. I could handle the Jasons and the Freddies and all that stuff, but some of this other material is just <laughs> it, it, it's it's far beyond my brain can capacitate that kind of horror. <laughs> so, horror movies on fire. Fire, 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 fire. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think I needed, I think I needed a, any, um, I needed the police called on me after buying all this stuff. Uh, I paid 25 each on those oscillators. I have to think about five or 10 bucks each on these items here. I paid 40 for the Y wheels. I paid Five or ten, ten dollars each on these components here, with those components over there. Five or ten dollars each. Um, you know, I brought it. I brought a thousand, and I got these other some other tools here. What was other interesting thing about these? Some of these tools was this body shaping hammer which is very nice a very nice body shaping hammer that's like probably a hundred dollar body shaping hammer and then these couple first reich uh rulers and tape measures hold up hey so here's a 25 meter Let's get a little, uh, this is the First Reich, German, First Reich, old, 100 year old, 100 year old military tape measure, German Nazi tape measure, field, field tape, maybe surveying, laying out, uh, structure, stuff like that. Two of those. Two of those. So, definitely some pretty good darn material. I uh, was happy with the turnout. And 
yeah definitely good material happy with the turnout what i found there's definitely some decent money in here uh a thousand into five i mean that wouldn't be too far-fetched this thing might do a thousand alone maybe more these two oscillators are five hundred dollars each possibly maybe 500 for the both uh some electronics oh my god i'm right in your face uh, some electronics a couple hundred bucks uh, the wheels i think i can get 500 out of all those uh maybe 2000 2500 for all the playboys potting it out singles slow grind um same thing with the vhs maybe two three thousand slow grind there was definitely some that i am gonna list at a hundred bucks maybe a little more there was definitely at least five that were a hundred each um ton of 50s maybe like 20 50s and a ton of 20s so that should do pretty good um all these uh cracker jack Cracker Jack cereal box toys. This is just bags, a couple decent bags full of different little plastic chunks from Cracker Jack toys and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, but probably another 100, 150 bucks there. So, all in all, it was pretty good. Uh, uh, and like I said, I'm not even halfway done sorting it. And this tote is just all random magazines. No clue what's in there. Could be Hustler, Cherry, uh, uh, Sports Illustrated. It could be uh, Newspaper. I don't really know what's in there. Who knows? Who knows? But that's what we got. Thanks for coming by. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, share it around. Uh, I'll look for some of this stuff. Stuff does pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Passive income. Let's go. Let's go. And then uh, I'll see you on the next one. I just wanted to bring you by. It was a quick one. Yeah, it's kind of exciting little uh, haul there. You don't get a lot of this material. So I brought, I brought, I brought you by to show you. Thanks for coming. Peace.